And I tell you, live look outside right now, we see the clouds out to the, I guess that's the west and to the east. It looks like some clearing, if at all possible. <laughs> Yes, but Derek Beasley, your cohort out in <laughs> Druid Hill Park, said it's cold out there and damp. Yeah, that's what Steve just texted me. He said it, it actually feels pretty miserable out here at times. And they had what, sunshine out there about 20 minutes ago, so we're going to be in and out of these clouds and sunshine here for the rest of this afternoon. Tomorrow, more sunshine, and we get progressively better as the week goes on. Let's track some of these showers that have popped up in the heat of the afternoon. And you see, there they are right there. And when you get under one of these, it may last five, ten minutes max, and then it's gone. But you can see them making their way from northwest to southeast across Frederick County, Carroll County, down into sections of Montgomery and Baltimore County, and into Howard County as well. So you can see them there north of uh, Columbia and out towards, uh, it looks like areas just to the south and west of Westminster, and getting up towards the Catoctons there in the Frederick County, and also over into Cecil County down in the eastern shore as well. So chilly again for tonight. The showers that we're seeing out there now should gradually end after sunset. So later on tonight, just mainly partly to mostly cloudy. Some improvement for Thursday as this system begins moving out. Friday looks even better. And then this weekend is going to be the best weekend of weather we've seen in weeks across our area. As temperatures are holding into the mid 50s, it feels like, though, the 40s in some spots, particularly with these winds that have been gusting out of the west at about 20 miles an hour. You can see we're in 40s and 50s across most of the state. Most of us are in the 50s, some 40s showing up out towards Hagerstown, even colder, of course, in the mountains of western Maryland. And then we've got uh, this northwest wind that's been blowing here throughout the day, 10 to 15 miles an hour, with those occasional gusts up to 20. So a few showers here through sunset, then just mainly cloudy here overnight tonight. We actually see a little bit of clearing overnight as well, as this upper level storm system, which continues to spin around, is not quite out of the area just yet. You see how it's swirling like this in a counterclockwise fashion? So the center of it right now is right on the New York Pennsylvania border. It's going to slide over to parts of New England here for tomorrow. So here's a look at your future cast. With it still in the vicinity, and we're going to be on the back side of this thing, we're still going to have a chance for a couple of stray showers for tomorrow afternoon. That's why you're seeing this here on future cast. The chance is small, but there's still that opportunity. Also, some more clouds during the heat of the day as well. But the reason why we're seeing this cool pattern, of course, we're on the north sides of the jet stream here, this omega block, this traffic jam in the atmosphere. It's finally going to start to, I guess, relent or at least uh, loosen up a little bit. And then we're finally going to get some warmer air in here. And that looks like it's going to be uh, later this week and into this weekend. Certainly by next week, we're going to see temperatures getting back into the upper 70s to near 80 with a brief cool down in the middle part of next week. But overall, we're going to be at or a little bit above our average high. So here's your planning forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures uh, for tomorrow, again, into the lower 60s, so a little better. First alert 70 forecast shows those temperatures uh, getting up into the 70s here by this weekend. And then by next week, we're looking at highs near 80, at least for a couple of days. Back to you.